son? Why don't you help the young lady? Dude, seriously. I would, but my yoga classes are wimpy. Is your yoga wimpy? What do I say? My yoga classes are wimpy. They don't give me the core strength I need to function at my optimal level. Try Rebel Yoga. Rebel Yoga? Rebel Yoga. Fortified with awesome shit for situations just like this one. Yoga gets you back in the fucking game. Okay, time. Time for what? Time to quit bullshit. Game the house. You guys always sitting around talking, ignoring class. What's up, man? Is Tororu gonna teach you some shit? Right? Uh, He's right there for you. Listen, Tororu. When you come to my class, you have to bow. You have to bow. You're not sure. And then like this? No, 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 like this. And then this one. <laughs> that's, the, that's the little Indonesian one, man. <laughs> All right? And then at the end, metal. 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 Headband. Yes. Metal. Metal. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys go over that? Like, Not like this. Like the ties. You know the ties. Right? Like that. And then. <laughs> and then metal. Metal. Okay. That's my favorite one. That's your shit. And the green. <laughs> Nathan, how much do you weigh? Don't lie, I'll put your ass on the scale right now. Huh? How much do you weigh? Maybe. 85? Maybe. 85. I can eat my own. You can eat your own. You can eat your own. You You can eat your You 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 had it here this morning. I, feel, I changed my flight this to be here. Fuck yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, um, we're working on dip setting. We're going to dip set back and forth, maybe four times, and then right to a fast half and half. All right, very important. So we're, we're just going to start in the lockdown and grab the leg here. If I could put it on my shoulder, there's no need to dip set. I'm just going to get up and sweep him or test his flexibility with the electric chair. But if he's sprawling here and I barely have his hand on my forearm and bicep, I'm gonna, he's gonna sprawl, I'm gonna try to swing in, and then I'm gonna go right back up to the dog fight. He's gonna whizzer. Go here, and then he whizzer. See how I get up on my hand? I'm not all the way up, just on my hand. We're just gonna rock back and forth, see? Don't let me put, put my leg on your shoulder. Just right here. Here we go. So he's going to have both hands on the mat, and then he's going to throw a wizard. Both hats on the, hands on the mat to base, and then he's going to put the wizard in. Meanwhile, I'm whipping here. See, both hands on the mat, base, and then on the last one, we swing up to the dog fight. Reach for his far knee, and go right through me. All right, so we're just, we're doing some half guard jumping jacks. Swing. Here. Here. Super fast. So when you sit up, 
when you finally go for the sweep, the hand on the mat, that's where all your base and all your weight is. So that you switch your legs to this, not to this. You're on your knee here, sitting on his ankle, reaching over for his far knee, and you go right to the door. One more time. Look at my left underhook right here. See? Let's go. Hernacho. And uh, you're the, I don't know, how do you? Hernacho Laranjo. Hernacho Laranjo. Hernacho Laranjo. All right. Remember that name. That's got suave, dude. Very important name. Very good. So where are you from? From a Curazão. Curazão? Brazil. Curazão, Brazil. Brazil, Curazão. It's a beautiful place. Is it, is it like a rainforest? You're on the beach? Or? It's about 15 minutes from uh, from a Bahia. Oh, nice. Very nice. I, I'm not very good at geography, but I, I hear that it's very beautiful there. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful women. Nice. So how long have you been training uh, Jiu-Jitsu? I train Jiu-Jitsu from the age of 11. 11? 11. Before and that I train, uh, before that I do a squash. I, I, I play a squash. Squash? Yeah, and then everybody say that game for girl. Then they say to be to be a real tough guy, you're gonna have to do capoeira. Then I come in, I do a lot of capoeira. I get a free stretch, I do my jinga, I get my jinga very strong. I do a beating bow. Then one day I see a man. He looked very like he looked like a white man. And he's in the favela. This, by this time, first I move Kurachi. Then I come to Rio. I see this man, white man, black man take his chain. This man, he look like ash from the evil dead. But I found out this man, Marido Busta Match. Then I see this man take Macho Leon. From then, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna train Jiu Jitsu. Just Jiu Jitsu? Brazil Jiu Jitsu. So you don't train any striking or anything like that? Just Jiu Jitsu? I train, I train everything. You have to prepare. You see Leo Chimachi. Yeah. He's not gonna just train Jiu Jitsu. But his foundation, Brazil Jiu Jitsu. So I have a question for you, uh, Renato. You're standing in a gym in Los Angeles, California. It happens to be uh, 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. That's right. Uh, Eddie Bravo School, which is 100% no gi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's 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 the one problem. That's that, the one that's problem. The, that, that's that's where he's wrong. This this not. You can't say you see people they fight they train for Valley Judo, but you see they don't they don't have they don't have the real skill. They don't have they don't come from a traditional background. They don't come from a real black belt.